So we're sitting here with Nick in uh, Hanoi in an Italian ice cream cafe. It is very good. And I have a couple of questions for Nick. So, first of all, could you introduce yourself? Mm. My name is Nick. I'm 36 years old. Is that loud enough, do you think? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm English and I live in Vietnam. How long so, have you traveled and where have you been? Um, <clears throat> been probably on the road for about eight years now, 2006. And uh, I suppose I started actually 2003 when I cycled from the Arctic Circle to Portugal with a friend. It took three months, and after that, I was bitten by the travel bug completely. And I went back to England, I got totally depressed and in a shit job. And then a friend once said, oh, you should teach English. And I've been doing that for eight years now. And I started in Spain, South Korea, Canada, and Czech Republic. These are places I've worked. Uh, Brazil, Saudi Arabia, Oman, and now Vietnam. So seven or eight countries I've lived in. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite color? <laughs> Oh, it used to be red, now it's blue. Okay. Next question. What's the purpose of life? Transcending it. Uh, what five things you think are absolutely unique about Hanoi and Vietnam? but fairly unique food, the quality of food, the cheapness and the, the breadth. This is amazing. Um, Hanoi, 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 Hanoi. The uh, city is very beautiful. The opportunities I've had here, so good opportunities. Um, the fact that people say that people are unfriendly, they're always lovely. Everybody smiles. Everybody smiles here. The greatest thing, the absolute greatest thing, is the scooters, mopeds. Scooters and travel. And it's being destroyed, sadly, by, by, by status obsessed twats who are buying cars. In 1990, 80% of journeys were done on bicycle in Hanoi. In 2005, sadly, it's 97 on scooters. But scooters are great, especially when you've been cycling. It's so nice to get on the machine. And there's no rules, and nobody. It's just fucking brilliant because you go where you want and you get there if you're good in 10 minutes. Nowhere's more than 10, 15 minutes. That's the best thing. A lot of people do not like that. I fucking love it. A lot of people I know do like it, and when you arrive, if you arrive alive, that, that's it. You, you, that's it. Well done. You've survived. It's fucking brilliant. Um, what three great skills have you acquired through these years? Skills, no, uh, adaptability. Again, it's a trait. Skills, teaching. I, I do do that quite well. That's my job. Um, yeah. What's your motto in life? Hmm. Be prepared for the worst, but hope for the absolute best. That pretty much works out. What will you tell your grandchildren? Nothing. I won't have it. <laughs> I won't have it. Um, what will I tell them? Uh, if I have it. Um, <laughs> Look at your family. 
What scares you the most? Nothing. Snakes, a little bit, but I'm getting over that. Then what are the greatest pleasures in life? Sex with hot girls. <laughs> yeah, sex with hot girls. Um, meeting people. Um, inspiring. and being physically exhausted. That's a great pleasure. Uh, last one. What can you tell the viewers uh, as an advice? Um, to get rid of the fear. Just fear. <clears throat> I think a lot of philosophies, a lot of brave people lot in get rid of the fear. Get rid of the fear, and you really can start enjoying everything so much more. Because that's what holds us back all the time. Is replace, replace, replace the fear with love. Do that. That's common advice, but it's absolutely true. Once you experience it, you start going, "Oh yeah, I know what that song's about now. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, that bit I read there, that makes sense." So yeah, get rid of fear. Because then everything's really enjoyable. Okay, thanks. No Thank problem. You. Thank you. Hey, indulge me somewhat. <laughs> You're eating ice cream. Being <laughs> indulged.